Hello all you wonderful, beautiful, and craptastic people. Craptastic Jack here, and the new update for the Crew 2 is right around the corner. It's coming out in a couple of days, and of course, the Ivory Tower usually holds a live stream to kind of discuss, go through what they're adding to the game, what changes they're making, what fixes they're going through, and I'll be honest, this, this live stream was really short. I did not expect it to be... Uh, like what 30 couple it was like half an hour a little more than half an hour But in that time we did get some uh, Valuable information for the crew too now the main thing that I want to talk about they had a bunch of stuff and all thing But the main thing I'm gonna be talking about is the release schedule now I've said before time and time again that three months is too long to wait for new content coming to the game Three months is not enough and from what we were getting from each update It was very lackluster for three months worth of wait so, and I said that we need something so at least weekly, at least monthly, but weekly would be better. And I've said that time and time again. Well, today they announced that they're changing up their release schedule, which is a good thing. Nothing but a good thing, by the way. Ivory Tower's changing their release schedule, which, hallelujah. They're adding new events weekly, which is, again, nothing but a great thing. Five new street racing events are coming this week, and then every week up until, I think, the release of the big update in April I think is what they said it's not March it's April now um, there's two new weekly events every week up until that update and they're all gonna be street racing events aside from a hypercar race and a drag race which are going to be at the end of every month so that's really interesting from now until April we're getting nothing but new street races which again I like that street racing is definitely like the core of the crew too um, I, I could kind of see why people would want some other events torn into that and I could kind of understand but at the same time like the street racing discipline there, there needs to be a lot more when you play the crew 2 what do you mainly play the crew 2 for now a lot of people are going to say answer that question with well street races hypercar races and that's the crew the people at ivory tower uh, they seem to be paying more attention at least the fact that they're releasing stuff more often now kind of makes it seem like they're more in tune with what the community wants which is a good thing yeah hooray so they're adding more events street racing events because they know that's what most people are doing which again is a great thing so five new events and then two new events every week it's gonna it's gonna bring me back a little bit every week just to kind of see what's going on with the new races um and then try out pvp mode with the new races which we'll talk about pvp because because there was a major change to pvp but we'll get to that in a second um, new races every week is nothing but a good thing. It keeps people coming back. But again, there has to be that incentive to come back. A lot of people, like, I bet I'll talk to some friends about this. They'll be like, eh, maybe I'll check it out. Th and maybe they won't. Like, the crew, too, is, like, they've, it's been skipping out on content for so long that people just don't care at this point. So they really need something big to keep people coming back. For the people that are here, though, still playing the crew, too, this is a good thing. This Get more incentive to even play the game even more incentive for people already playing the game and it might bring some new people back in but probably not long term again ivory tower needs to find that long term solution to bring people back and i'm thinking of something like wild run or something like that like a expansion on the scale of wild run and maybe that's what the april update will bring us who knows i i doubt it but that's pr like probably what not probably what's gonna be like but i'm hopeful that the april update is something like that something that brings people coming back because the crew too needs a player base. It needs a. It had one and it lost it, so they kind of need to rebuild that fan base. But again, for people that are still playing the game, the street races and all that, it's a, it's a great thing. And if people wanted more boat racing, off, uh, airplane racing, then I guess it's, uh, I, I, they could add more. A great solution to this would be in the April update or some update in the future, releasing a track editor. A track editor is something that they should really focus on adding in. As soon as, as soon as they can because a track editor at that point that, that could actually be a good reason for people to come back because the physics and everything I like the physics and the crew too. the racing the crew too is great and you can get really creative with a race editor that would again unlimited Unlimited racing pretty much like in horizon 4 unlimited racing with a track editor like that's something I definitely would like to see in the game But this is not really about stuff that they need to add into the game This is all about this update and another big thing like I said earlier PvP are the New PvP events, not new PvP, well, probably new PvP, PvP, PvP events coming in with the new events that they're adding in every week, which is a good thing. You go into PvP every week and there's new events to play, which is going to be a great thing. Now, going back to PvP, they made it so they split up the street racing category into three categories now. One section where you race with just everybody, bikes and cars. 
another section where you race with just cars, and then another section where you're racing just against bikes. Now, I would definitely love to see a bike, a street bike discipline at some point. I feel like that could be really cool. And I feel like we can see if people are going to enjoy it with the bikes discipline, or this might just lead people to not use bikes at all anymore. Who knows? This could, uh, I, this is a great idea on paper, and I think it's a good idea to way to get rid of the overpowered bikes and separate them, but at the same time, I feel like this could really split the player base even more because I already have trouble finding lobbies on the crew too. So this is this might make it even harder. So we'll we'll have to see, but that's my main worry for the new PVP uh update with they're going with that. And also with that, going back on the street races, all these street races seem to be it, well, at least the ones that they showed off are in the country. They're not in the cities, which is good because there aren't any really any street races outside of the country. Again, which is great. And then some other bug fixes, blah, blah, blah. You, I'll have I'll leave the link to the full patch notes. It's not that big, honestly, down there in the, the description. One thing I do like to see, though, I would like to see again in the future. Since they were talking about how they fixed the traffic um, disappearing randomly i really would like to see traffic added into street races or at least an option to race with traffic i feel like street races aren't really street races unless traffic's involved um so definitely they need to add that in at some point that would be cool I, or even race editor have that in as an option with the race editor that that would be sick but that's pretty much going to be it this is a very short stream like i said earlier so not too much i again i didn't really expect too much but overall i'm pretty happy with this update they didn't really do anything that i would call in the question they just added some more stuff into the game which again more content is a good thing uh, especially for this game where the game lacks content and then we're getting new content as well so so far 2019 they seem to be on a better start than what they were when they launched the game 2019 they're off to a good start so far with the new scheduling of more regular content that's again that's a good sign that they might be on the right track for 2019 but we'll have to see what do you guys think about this update do you like it do you not like it be sure to let me know in the comment section below but that's gonna be all for now thank you guys so much for watching i will see you guys in my next video have a good one guys thank you guys so much for watching if you want to see some more craptastic content be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you don't ever miss an upload also be sure to follow me on twitch and join my discord to be able to chat with me and some others that's all for now guys have a good one